Well, let me ask the audience for a second. When you hear political correctness, okay, do you think about trade policies? Raise your hand if that's what you're thinking about when you hear political correctness. When you hear political correctness, do you think about the way that you are or are not allowed to talk about certain groups of Americans? Right. So it, it seems to me that that was, what, that was part of it too, right? I mean, he was, he was going after these shibboleths, like you said, right, these consensus things. But he was also saying things, frankly, when we talk about political correctness, are basically just rules about being, well, not was, being a jerk. And I'll tell you what else he was doing. I'd like some comments on this. He was talking about the media. Do people here think that the media reflects the reality of American society? No. 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 All right. All right. So that's, All right. One, that's one on you, Chris. <laughs> right. Well, I'm not trying to score points. My, my point here, though, is... Well, I understand that. My, yeah. my point, though, is that these things are intertwined, right? It's yes. that he was, if he's violating taboos that we think are taboos that should be violated, he was violating taboos that a lot of folks, I'll put myself in them, think we should keep, like the taboos about how you talk about women or people of color or people of other religions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that's true, and I think some of that is unfortunate, because I happen to believe one of the uh, arguments as to why Trump won is the belief that most of or many of his supporters are sexist or are racist or are homophobes. I happen not to believe that's the case. I think what he did do is he said, you know what? There is a lot of pain in this country. People are scared and people are worried. One example, right now, 50% of older workers, 55 to 64, do you know how much money they have in the bank as they enter retirement? Who wants to guess? Zero. Well, what do you think? People are scared to death of retirement. So I think the answer is, he said, right. and I think his main success story is all across the board, I will stand up to the establishment, whether it's the political establishment, the media establishment, the economic establishment. Now, I happen to think he won't do that, but be that as it may, we'll discuss that tonight. I think that was his major argument. People are tired of status quo politics. He broke through that.